plant pathologist is someone who works with diseases and pests of plants. So someone who studies essentially plant health. So the field of plant pathology really is similar in many ways to being a doctor who works with, with humans or being a veterinarian who works with diseases. A lot of my work is actually outside in the field, working with growers or homeowners, looking at their plants. For example, an experiment I might do would be to examine different ways that we can protect peppers. We might use commercial uh, pesticides, things that kill bacteria. And we might compare that to what we call cultural practices, different ways to mulch around the peppers or to use peppers that have resistance to disease and evaluate whether those different treatments provide more protection against the spread of a disease. I didn't realize that there was a career in plant pathology. I went to college and studied, originally I was a pre-med major, and it wasn't until I was almost done with college that I became aware that there is a career in plant pathology, and at that point, I discovered that that's what I really wanted to do. So if you wanted to become a plant pathologist as a career, um, you really have to start in high school. In high school you will have to emphasize the sciences, but especially the life sciences. So studying about animals and plants, along with some math and some uh, chemistry. You could study microbiology or animal sciences or plant sciences, but at some point when you finish college you'd want to apply to a, an advanced degree program that offers at least a master's degree in plant pathology. Much like you would go and get an advanced degree in veterinary science or in, in medical science. The really intriguing thing about plant pathology is it brings together all of these different science disciplines all in, in one area where plants and insects and pests and diseases are all interacting together in the field. You know, I think if you're studying to become a plant pathologist or in any of the other related fields of agronomy or agriculture, it's likely that at some point you might become discouraged and find a class to be difficult or challenging, but it's important really just to keep working at it, to sort of go out and get additional experiences, find that motivation to keep working towards that career because in the end, you'll really, really enjoy what you're doing every day. Everything I work with in one way or another relates to the information, the knowledge I gained while I was studying in school. It's really important to have a really broad and solid foundation of basic knowledge if you're looking at how many different organisms interact together. In any sort of advanced field, you have to continually study it's not that you study, get a degree, and you're done learning. It's every day you're exploring more, trying to keep up with what's going on in your field. And I first discovered that there was this career, and I went out and I researched some schools that offer degrees, a master's degree in plant pathology, and I started to apply. I think that's really the, the key is to, to be aware that there is a field, a profession of plant pathology, and then to find the universities that offer the degree and to get out and get some first-hand experience. It may just be working at a nursery in the summer or working for a, a farmer or something where you get outside, you work with plants, you're aware of sort of the, the challenges of growing healthy plants. The most rewarding thing about being a plant pathologist is really to work with people who need a solution, who are having a problem. And I can come and I can diagnose what the disease or the pest or the problem they're having, and I can turn around and I can offer them solutions. There are parts of my job that I'm not that crazy about, and I would say those are largely the fact that I do have to work in my office. There are parts of the year, that, you know, the season where you're doing more desk work, 
Um, certainly those days are less exciting, less fulfilling than the days when I'm outside working with growers or uh, landowners, people that are growing plants. There are other similar fields. There's agronomy, there's soil science, and specifically plant breeding are some of the fields that I think that relate very closely to plant pathology. They work with farmers and growers to try to diagnose other problems that you might have in agriculture and come up with solutions and recommendations that they might give to farmers in terms of how to improve their crop production. I sometimes wonder what I would be doing if I wasn't a plant pathologist. Some days I actually wish that I was a plant breeder and plant breeding is a related field in many ways, solves some of the same problems. But it's very exciting to be able to take two different kinds of plants and to breed them together to get particular varieties that have traits or qualities that again growers or homeowners are interested in that will benefit them. The first thing I grew in my life was a pumpkin. I grew one pumpkin and when that pumpkin grew and I got to harvest it, I was just thrilled. It was so much fun and the next year I expanded my garden and a few years later I was you know, growing almost our whole backyard was a garden. And I noticed how often there were diseases and insect pests that caused problems and I think really that's where I started getting an interest in how to maintain healthy plants.